Hello, it's so bright. <laughs> How are you guys? Don't mind me, just organizing <laughs> the space while I sit down to film. Um, hi, my name is Dana, welcome to my channel. This is the channel all about SMS Beauty, which stands for skincare, makeup, sunscreen, my three loves in life. I do have more, but that's what we talk about here. Why am I <laughs> very dramatic with my hands today? Anyway, today is one of my favorite videos and that is monthly favorites, ta-da! This is March monthly favorites 2022. And I think we should just jump in because I've got a handful, a good portion of stuff to talk about. First off, I wanted to apply one of my new favorites, which is the Merit Beauty Lipstick. I forget what they're called, like the actual name of them. Um, Signature Lip, that's what they're called. And I have two shades. I have the shade Millennial and Slip. I actually wanted a different one. I think it's called Baby, um, but it was sold out already. So I got these two and I have been wearing them pretty much nonstop. Let me apply it and then I'll talk through it. Um, Millennial. I think is my favorite just because I like this kind of like mauvey pink-ish shade. I don't know, it just suits me a little bit better than the slip shade, which I will swatch for you one second. Okay, so this is the slip shade. It's a brown neutral. Sometimes it looks a little like, um, or it washes me out a little, and that's kind of why I prefer the shade Millennial, which is more of a pink. So you can see the difference there. And I have been wearing them, like I said, nonstop, mainly because I find that it gives you just the right amount of pigment. It's not matte, it's not too dewy. I have two other lipsticks that kind of go on both ends. The Vive Modern Matte ones are obviously matte, and I do like those, but sometimes they can feel like just a little drying if you wear it too often, like for me at least. And then I have a sample size of the Rare Beauty lipstick, I don't know the name. And it feels like it's so, so, so dewy that like I literally talk and it comes off or it's just kind of annoying, like I know it's gonna come off. And I find that the Merit ones are kind of that in-between. They're there, they're not gonna like fade away too quickly, but they're also not gonna dry it out. So I love this shade. I've been wearing it a lot and it feels like it goes with everything. So these two I would say are kind of this and the baby shade are the three that I kind of like the most. So very good job. Okay, I'm just going through my pockets of my um, sweater because I should get those out of the way with <laughs> the, uh, one more, there we go. Two things that I am gonna get a review up on very soon, I swear, are the K-Skin um, sunscreens. So we have the mineral one and then the chemical one. This is a glowy one, I freaking love this. If you have a little bit more like medium or tan or light medium skin tone or even of course deeper this is what i think the glow screen from supergoop is that doesn't work for me the glow screen just because i think it's a little too light in like tone this one has a better undertone i think for deeper or medium skin tones and i've just been freaking loving it i wore it in florida where like it's hot and i didn't mind it all at all because it really does dry down and it doesn't feel like the glitter, well, there's not really glitter, but like shimmer. It doesn't feel like they're going anywhere. It just is a really beautiful sunscreen and it's got a pretty high protection. I believe this one is 45, so very good job. And then the other one that they make is the mineral one, which I also really like. It has a yellow undertone and I'm, that video will be coming soon. It'll tell you more about all of them. But this one is, like I've said in that video, it really reminds me of the Live Tinted with the orange undertone. It basically cancels out any of the whiteness caused from the zinc oxide. So really like this one, hydrating, not too much, just kind of a very, very nice formulation. So I'm super impressed with them. Very new brand, very impressed though. Okay, let's continue on the sunscreen train. This one is not gonna be a surprise if you saw my other, like all the new sunscreen video, I will link it here. This is the Tatcha, the Silk sunscreen. I. This is just a stunning, stunning sunscreen. It's expensive, that's the only downside of it. I can't figure out one other. I mean, it's maybe not the most hydrating, but I wore this under a mask the other day. It didn't budge. I didn't feel like it was going anywhere. I just, there's so many beautiful things about this, except for the price, but you know, you're paying for the brand um, and the packaging, which by the way, I did take this on vacation because this is a really great 
package for travel. It's small, it's plastic, it fits anywhere. Love it. Okay, let's move into the makeup realm of things. <laughs> So a few of you asked me what I was wearing in one of my other videos, and it was this. This is the Chanel Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. Again, why you gotta be so expensive, but also so beautiful. What I've been doing lately is I have been mixing this in with whatever skin tint that I've been wearing. And that is the best way to wear it, in my opinion. Like you can wear it, you can just take, here I'll, maybe. I'll demonstrate. You can take it and take just a little bit and kind of use it as a highlighter. And I have the darker shade, by the way. This comes in a, a, like a lighter, more champagne-y shade. This one's more of a gold shade. And you can do it like this and you really do get that like kind of blinding highlight. Um, but I found that it kind of works better if you just mix it with whatever product you're using. Um, and I've been using basically it with every skin tint that I wear. And then I just don't even have to worry about it. And it doesn't make my face look too, too glowy either. It's like, it's not subtle. I mean, I definitely am like glowy, but it also doesn't look like I put like glitter on my face. So I love it. I also really enjoy the way the Chanel products smell. They smell so good. Okay. Um, this is an old favorite, but it's a March 2022 favorite. Well, I don't know if I, this was ever in my favorites video. This is the Fenty Eavesdrop, and I just saw a comment from um, Kasia, did I say it right? One of my subscribers who I chat with on Instagram um, and on YouTube, but she said that this looks terrible on her. And of course, like that is totally fair. Like not everything works on everyone. And it's always so interesting to see like what doesn't work for certain people. And I believe when I tried this in the beginning, this was last year, probably maybe two years ago, it wasn't my favorite. Um, I think it's really kind of boils down to your skin type. I think for dry skin, this might not be the best. Also for if you have maybe more textured skin or like larger pores, something like that. I am, I'm just guessing because obviously I only have my skin type, but I did notice when the first few times I used it, it did kind of cling to some dry patches. But over the past few years, my skin has really changed, I would say like for the better, and it has actually become more like combo slash sometimes oily. And for that, this works really beautifully. Also in just like warmer weather, this works. I think this may not work if you're in a really dry climate or you do have dry skin. That's my guess. I don't know, so don't like crucify me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but that's my guess. But. If you do you know have more oily skin live in a humid climate i've been really really loving it um i also have been applying it with a sponge so what i've been doing i guess i'll just show you i'm not gonna show you but i'm gonna tell you i've been putting a like a squirt of this one the chanel and then some of that and i put it on a wet beauty blender this is i don't know if it's key because i haven't tried it with dry <laughs> and then that's how i apply it so it's kind of like all together I don't think this works as well, maybe with your hands. I feel like it gets a little bit more coverage than I would like with my hands. And I haven't honestly really tried it with a brush. So that way works for me and I just really love it. It doesn't transfer, it's just been a beautiful combo. Okay, do we have more? Yes, we do. <laughs> I just did an Instagram like story on this. This is the Ellen Beatrix Loose Powder Transparent Natural One. This is from Germany from one of my subscribers and a friend who sent it to me in a package and a video I'm gonna be putting out soon, I swear. I just, it takes me a while sometimes. Um, if you saw my Instagram story, which like not that many people do, but whatever, I love it. This is the best powder that I've ever, ever, ever experienced. And I don't like, I'm not like a crazy powder girl, but I'm also not, not a powder girl, if that makes sense. This, how do I put it? It does exactly what a powder needs to do, which is like take down any wetness or um, oiliness or whatever, but it doesn't dry you out. Sorry, notifications and people are, I, I'm very distracted all of a sudden. It makes my forehead look beautiful. It makes my under eyes look beautiful, which is not usually the case. I don't know, <laughs> I don't think most Americans can probably get this, but if you're in Europe, Ellen Beatrix, this loose powder is fabulous. And also, I don't tend to like loose powders as much. 
Um, they just don't do it for my under eyes. So the fact that I love that so much says a lot. <laughs> okay, and into skincare. I don't have a ton. I think it's just this one. And I, you know, sometimes I struggle to, like, I question whether I should talk about this or not. But this is my own brand and I try not to talk about it like incessantly because then it feels like I'm selling you guys on stuff and that's not really the goal. But I've decided I just don't like any other serum except for my own. And that could just be my skin type, I don't know. But I never liked serums before. I would spend and have spent hundreds, probably thousands of dollars on serums to see literally nothing. And I have one right now. It's the, um, what is it? I will put a picture. It's very expensive, like supposed to be just this amazing serum. And I'm kind of like, no, like this right here, this is the triple crown serum, by the way. This does the same thing, if not better. Plumps your skin, kind of preps it for moisturizers. It's just fabulous. And it is one of our best sellers. So it's not like just me saying that, like people do also love it. Um, so I, I did want to include it because I've kind of decided like I'm no longer buying serums. They just, it's a waste of money for me, especially when I make my own. And I, you know, I do talk about lots of skincare that's not my own brand. And if people ever wonder kind of like, why would you ever talk about anything else besides your own brand? Like you should, if it's your own brand, that's all you should use. I don't know. I think that's kind of a silly mindset. I love skincare. Like I love my own, of course. But I also like trying others and I have this YouTube channel so that's part of the job. But at the end of the day, I probably won't be buying any more serums just because I've decided that this is the only one I need in my life. So I think that's it. I just filmed the whole thing without talking, but there was more. And I'm gonna tell you what the more was. <laughs> it is, I'm sorry, this is disgusting. Um, it's the Glossier After Balm. This is a moisture recovery, like balmy type thing. And it's my favorite moisture barrier cream that I've ever tried. Um, it is rich, but not too rich. It's creamy. It swings. What is this? Maybe make it stop. No, that's not gonna help. It sinks in but not all the way so that like you actually feel it in the morning like your skin has been hydrated all night long which is what i love i can't stand the stuff that just sinks in and it is gone it has no scent um it's heavy ish and i really mean the ish part so what i do is when i take it out of the bottle i put it on my hand and then i rub it between my fingers a little bit it warms up the product so that you can really rub it in and I almost feel like I could use this whole bottle and it wouldn't be too much, which is very, very rare. Um, it's just truly a spectacular product. I would say absolutely great for dry skin, sensitive skin, oily skin only at night. I mean, for most people, I would only wear this at night as well. Um, the packaging is out of like a dream. This is glass and then this tin top. It's pink and green, which are actually my college colors. <laughs> uh, it's truly truly spectacular i will send or i will add the link like i do for every product below but if you're looking for something this could be it all right back to our regularly scheduled broadcasting I'm trying to look around <laughs> normally i keep a list um but yeah i don't think we need to keep going so i hope this helps and i hope you enjoy it and i will see you guys in my next video bye